So there are books that you always pretended to have read because if you admit that you haven't read it, uh, that would be a bad for your reputation. Uh, this is one of the books that I have been pretending to have read. Uh, one Hundred Years of Solitude by Gaucha Marcus. This is the Japanese translation. I've had this book for quite a while, <laughs> but I haven't, uh, to be honest, I haven't finished reading it. Uh, you know, this is, uh, well, o o magnum opus by this great writer, and, uh, you know, it is, I think, uh, the requirement for any intellectually uh, active person to read this book and have some opinion about this book and but you know uh to be honest i haven't read it uh, actually i have tried several times to read it but uh every time i failed it's not that um you know i didn't find this book uh interesting i simply did not have a time i you know my attention span uh, tend to be really short so um you know if i finish uh, reading a certain work uh, it is only because that I have, you know, it's a kind of a stochastic process. Um, I might keep reading it, or I might you know, just kind of, you know, phase out and, and stop reading it. But anyway, um, I really feel that in this time, when everybody is self-isolating and staying at home, it's a good chance that, you know, I should, you know, I should really read this book. However, having said that, uh, I, you know, uh, to be honest, I actually wanted to read it in Spanish. Because, you know, I, as much as I admire these translators and translations, um, uh, if I could, I would be able to, you know, if I was able to uh, read uh, the 100 Years in Solitude or, uh, um, um, in Spanish, uh, that would be even great, greater. But, you know, um, for, for the moment, I, I can't handle Spanish. So, you know, uh, Cerebrosu is the only... Spanish word, a uh, very important sp Spanish word uh, that I can handle, a uh, beer. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you know, that, that's, okay, that's the plan, uh, that's the plan. Uh, my plan is to s first learn Spanish and then finish reading 100 Years of Solitude and, you know, then I don't have to pretend that I have read this great book. So anyway, uh, the, the, actually, other problems that, you know, I, I must confess uh, that, uh, you know, for example, uh, I haven't read Leo Tolstoy's uh, War and Peace, uh, to be honest, I haven't finished it. Uh, so in order to finish it properly, I should uh, master Russian first. Uh, that would be a high order, because the alphabets are different. And, um, you know, um, I, I haven't finished reading uh, Marcel Proust's uh, A la Chouchée du Temps Perdu. <laughs> In search of lost times, uh, I haven't read it. Uh, uh, you know, I, of course, I know the Madrin uh, episode. You know, uh, but you dip a Madrin into the tea, and you know, and you remember all these things. And I, I know that, but you know, I haven't finished reading it. So it's a terrible business. You know, I probably I have to, uh, you know, uh, brush up my French too. So there are all these wonderful literary works that I have been pretending to have read uh, to my friends uh, to you know or maybe I didn't mention it anyway because I didn't mention it at all because you know um, referring to these works uh, would have required me to be honest with these uh, works on I probably had to admit that I haven't read these books or oh, that would be terrible so anyway uh, this is one of the books that, that I haven't read now this is a confession I have made a confession now and this is uh, my weekly confession and uh, I do hope to read it. Maybe I can first read it in Japanese and, you know, then claim that, yeah, I have read The 100 Years of Suitude by Garcia Marcus and it was great. Maybe I can, I should do that in this self-isolation period. <laughs>